So I actually do have to ask. So your last name, can you say it for all of us? Yeah. Eithoven. Eithoven. The U.S. silent. Really? Yeah. What nationality is that? Dutch. Dutch. Where do you get the Dutch from, mom or dad? Dad. Okay. That is so cool. Eithoven. And then E-K stands for? Emma Kate. Emma Kate. Okay. But it's like hard to say a double name playing soccer, so everyone just says like E-K. E-K. Mm-hmm. That is... Okay, so was that like a soccer nickname that originated when you were younger, or? Yeah, it started when I was probably like 12. I made the move to play travel soccer in Birmingham, Alabama. My coach started calling me EK. Any state school within Mississippi wasn't an option, or were you like, I gotta get out of here, I wanna go west? And no one blames you for going to Tucson, I'm just saying that right now, but what? But was Missis- any, any schools in Mississippi, was that an option? So I actually grew up coming to Ole Miss soccer camps. Um, never really looked at Mississippi State. That's okay. Yeah. And um, once I got older, I was like, okay, like I kind of want to do something different. I graduated with 60 people. And so I was like, I kind of want to move away for a little, see what it's about. So I did that. Like my parents were able to come visit me and they did a really good job at it. But it's just like kind of sad whenever you come off the field and like, your friends are hugging their parents and you're like FaceTiming your parents. You're like, hey, we won. So then I was like, okay, like I think going back home would be really fun. But yeah, I loved being out West. I'm glad I did it, but I am happy to be back. The culture that Molly has built here. um, What have you noticed the most about team bonding and how this team loves each other essentially? Yeah, so whenever I went on my visit, Molly was very big about even including, like, my parents and things, which I thought was, like, really important. Like, she uh, told us about how she wants to develop us outside of just soccer players, so we do a lot of, like, personal development to prepare us for, like, our lives outside of soccer, which I really like that because I feel a lot more prepared to go into the real world. She makes all of us individually feel seen in, like, different ways, and she remembers, like, the small details about us. Let's get into... You loving being outdoors a little more. We, we were talking a little bit, which I think is so fun. So cool, so fun, the bonding thing you do with your dad. You guys go hunting, you guys go on a hunting trip together. Um, why is that special to you? Growing up, we had a farm in Macon, Mississippi, and my dad actually built our cabin like from the ground up by himself. So we would go there every weekend like during hunting season, and that was like a way to make him happy. You know, that's what he loves to do. So I was like, okay, I'll do it with him. And then I started travel soccer and we barely got to go. So he had to sell it. So I always felt super guilty about that. But now we go to Iowa um, in December. We go on a trip together for like seven days and we hunt. And that's like when he's the happiest probably. 